to Hiszpania, tak? Hiszpania i mity antykomunistyczne. Yes, of course. So, um, we will talk today about the civil war in Spain in 1946. And uh, especially I would like uh, to speak about the George Orwell, one <laughs> of the favorite uh, writer of the of the imperialist western countries uh, and he was a so-called socialist uh, member of the Boom party and uh, this war in spain there are there are a lot of myths uh, that uh, so bruno hmm, say something about this. yes of course about the civil war first we have always to th to think about one thing and it's always important in history that when you win war uh, um, everybody is uh, 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 thinking you're right you're good and so on and so on but when you have a defeat uh, then you are very you are let alone so and 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 unfortunately of course the spanish civil war was a defeat um was a defeat for uh, for um, all the democracies and and left uh, oriented parties so every 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 side is uh, tend to uh, push the responsibility of defeat uh, on others no? so so that's the first thing we have to 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 say the second thing we have to say is that uh, when the uh, re republic was proclaimed in Spain, uh, the communists were not the majority in, in the left. Uh, it was, uh, you know, a, a united uh, a front, a popular front, people's front, uh, who won the election. Uh, it was not specially uh, specially communist. Communists were, of course, in this front, but it was not. Um, the, the communists were not the main party at that moment. And what is very important to, to understand is that why the communists became important during the civil war. They became important for a very for basically two reasons. One internal reason and the second is international reason. International reason is linked with the fact that um, the uh, democracies that should have uh, support uh, uh, Spain, Spanish Republic, and especially France, uh, uh, and eventually also, of course, uh, England, uh, didn't help Spain. Uh, and the only country, the only state, uh, that really helped Spain was Soviet Union. Um, and this is a pure fact. And it has to be taken into account. As soon as the Soviet did uh, uh, support Spain, it is logical, it is normal uh, that uh, the Soviet influence grew. Uh, uh, in in Spain, in, in inside the the the, the, the Spanish Republic, um, and if the S Spanish Republic was at the very end defeated, it's because Soviet help was not sufficient. But we cannot uh, 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 criticize Soviet Union for that. We can criticize other uh, uh, democratic country uh, who didn't supported uh, Spanish Republic. That's the first uh, first thing to. Um, to take into account. The second thing we have to take into account uh, is internal during the, the, the civil war. Uh, the, the, um, uh, the communists became stronger and stronger. But why they became stronger? One of the main reasons is the one I told uh, uh, earlier. It means um, it is normal that uh, if Soviet Union was the only country really helping Spain, it is logical that the party which looked uh, uh, the most, the more pro-Sovietic uh, uh, in Spain uh, will win uh, popularity among people who stand on the side of the Republic. Uh, and this has also to be taken into account. Uh, the second thing uh, is that, uh, as you know, Communist Party are um, organized in a Bolshevik way. And uh, not only in Spain, but the whole history of the 20th century uh, in Russia first, of course, but in all other countries 
uh, uh, during uh, in almost all other countries occupied by fascists during the Second World War uh, in Europe or in Asia or um, uh, uh, in the national liberation movement after the Second World War, all the time we can uh, 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 um, uh, uh, observe that uh, the Bolshevik way of organizing a party and a struggle and a political fight and military fight was uh, uh, the best one, or even I would say the only one that can that was um, that was uh, uh, um, uh, positive. Uh, for the uh, victory of uh, the Revolutionary Party. So, uh, if you take other example, let's say, uh, uh, um, during the Second World War, the, the resistance movement uh, almost everywhere in Europe, uh, maybe with the exception of Poland, but in other countries, the communists were the, the, the real vanguard of the resistance movement. In Asia, in Korea, in Vietnam, in China, it's the same situation. After the Second World War, the, the Bolshevik way of organizing party proved to be the most uh, efficient for Chinese revolution, for Vietnamese revolution, even in countries which were not, um, which uh, liberation movement were not strictly Marxist, as for example, Algeria, uh, the way they organized the resistance was uh, to a large extent uh, 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 influenced by the Bolshevik way of organizing a, a revolutionary movement. And we have the same thing later in, in Africa, in different uh, colonies who fought for their independence, independence especially the Portuguese uh, colony. So if we understand that, uh, we understand that in Spain during the Civil War, it was the same situation. The communists and the communist methods and the Bolshevik method were the most efficient uh, to uh, mobilize people, organize uh, 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 the power, organize the army and so on. So, of course, uh, 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 the communist party, the influence of communist party began to grow and grow and grow all along the, uh, the time of the civil war. And uh, and it's uh, it's uh, logical when we say that. Of course, the consequence of what we observe is that um, uh, Bolshevism, Bolshevik-like parties, uh, are uh, are not a romantic organization which is fighting. Uh, in a let's say romantic way uh, to the uh, toward revolution, uh, Bolshevism is a method uh, which is organized on based on very strong discipline, um, very I would say even authoritarian way of of of, of functioning because it's a war, it's a war machine, and it's a military way of winning war it doesn't mean that it has no um, it it doesn't have a, a, a democratic orientation in this sense that uh, the communist party are pushing forward people from lower classes to, uh, to 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 get some important responsibilities and positions uh, in, inside the, the the political or military uh, institution, but uh, and uh, on that that sense, it's a very democratic uh, institution. But of course, uh, the price we have to pay because you know, revolution uh, is not a romantic action. It's a uh, it's a, 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 a hard uh, situation, uh, and in hard situation, you have to pay some price, and the price you pay. Uh, for revolution, for um, uh, uh, promoting uh, 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 liberation movement, is very uh, hard line discipline. Uh, and as I told you, uh, the 20th century uh, showed that only very strongly uh, disciplined organizations could uh, eventually lead and uh, win 
during re revolution uh, or, uh, or liberation movement. So it's logical that the communists in Spain, when they began to grow, when, when their influence began to, to grow, um, because they were, I would say, the most efficient party uh, fighting for republic, if you are the most efficient, uh, you take more and more responsibility. And take, taking more and more responsibility, you do it in your own way, the way which is, is efficient. And the way which is efficient is very um, strong discipline. Uh, of course, what I'm telling you doesn't please uh, romantics. Uh, but Spanish civil war was not a romantic war. It was a very difficult war against fascists. Um, uh, um, and uh, of course, what I say doesn't uh, please to anarchists. And we have to know that anarchy at that time was a very strong uh, tradition in Spain. And of course, we can understand that uh, it was very difficult for anarchists to change in, 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 in a couple of weeks, I would say, from uh, libertarian ideals to very disciplined organization. It was even impossible to realize that so quickly. But, you know, history is an objective situation. It's not a subjective one. The, 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 the Spanish war was a, a war uh, 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 that had to be uh, uh, carried on at the moment when it happened. And it's the same thing with Trotskyism and with the POUM you, you talked about. Uh, it's exactly the same. I mean, um, uh, they couldn't fit uh, to uh, the need of the, uh, of the time, which means that you have to be very disciplined uh, and not... Uh, 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 in, in a military way. I mean, the Spanish Civil War was, to a certain extent, we can say, a copy of the Russian Civil War. And it's very, you know, funny when you have Trotskys criticizing what the communists did in Spain, um, forgetting one thing, that when Trotsky was at the head of the Red Army during the civil war in Russia. He used much more authoritarian methods than the communists or the Soviet NKVD uh, uh, did in, in Spain. Comparing things, Trotsky was much more hardliner uh, I, I, during the Russian civil war than the communists were during the Spanish civil war. So, you know, it looks really, really... I don't know if the word funny is is good, but to a certain extent, it it looks quite, um, uh, you know, quite uh, uh, bizarre uh, uh, to uh, uh, observe the the Trotsky's critics against the communists and the Soviets uh, during the Spanish Civil War when you uh, know how Trotsky did when he was at the head of the Red Army uh, during the Russian Civil War. Um, you know, it's completely out of touch what they are uh, telling. It's pure theory. In practice, they never accept to compare Russian civil war with Spanish civil war. Uh, and it has to be done. Uh, and the Trotskys during the Spanish civil war, uh, objectively, most of the time, uh, played a, you know, a, 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 a double role. I don't uh, deny the fact um, that uh, they were, uh, uh, most of them, for sure, uh, uh, um, uh, very, very uh, uh, decided to, uh, uh, to promote their own political line and to sacrifice for it and so on and so on. But in the same time, objectively, their, their regular critics of what was happening in, in, in inside the Republican camp in Spain uh, was uh, something objectively, I would say, destructive for the uh, Republican. And I would even say, to a certain extent, the Spanish Republic failed because um, uh, and was defeated 
partly because the uh, international situation was against Spain, as I told you, only Soviet Union, in fact, as a power supported uh, Spain, uh, as a, a state power, um, but also uh, because uh, uh, the uh, the communists didn't manage to uh, eliminate every uh, 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 undisciplined and irresponsible, uh, irresponsible behaviors within the Spanish society. And to a certain extent, I would say that the anarchists and the Trotskys are partly responsible of that, even if uh, I don't condemn them uh, as traitors, but I think their methods and were objectively helping a counter-revolution. Uh, because, um, you know, when you have a fight, you have no time to discuss uh, things. Of course, maybe the NKVD, the Soviet police, were a little bit too, uh, too, uh, too hard against Trotskyists or anarchists in Spain. But, you know, that's, the, uh, that's difficult to say to a certain extent because uh, the situation was very hard. Uh, and um, and uh, uh, it remembered the situation of the Russian civil war, and it has to be to be uh, to be treated in a way uh, that, uh, if we look at a, a, a later uh, liberation movement during the Second World War or after the during the anti-colonial wars, it happened that. You know, the method uh, Trotskyists or anarchists are criticizing in Spain uh, happened to be very efficient uh, in all those countries where the resistance or the national liberation movement uh, did, uh, did um, appear. Uh, so to a certain extent, we, say, we can say that um, Spain was a training area for, for communists uh, and a good experience uh, for a later uh, liberation movement, including the fact that a lot of Span Spaniards who had to leave their country at the end of the civil war, and especially uh, toward France, because France was the neighboring countries, uh, their experience during the, 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 the Spanish civil war was very positive uh, in France or in other European countries where Spanish refugees uh, were. And uh, if we observe uh, which Spanish refugees were so positively uh, active during the Nazi occupation, for example, of France, then we look, we, 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 it's pure objectivism, what I say. It's not, uh, you know, it's not uh, 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 my romantic uh, feeling. It's the communists, the, the, the Spanish communists in the French resistance movement are were very, very active, uh, uh, efficient. Um, and I would say, unfortunately, the anarchists or the Trotskyists uh, uh, in the French resistance movement, were uh, the Spanish Trotskyists and anarchists, were not so efficient. So uh, if we look at all that, uh, taking into account how the communists be behaved in Spain during the civil war and how the Spanish communists behave after the Spanish civil war in other European countries uh, against fascism. Um, you know, the, the, the balance of power, I would say, is uh, in favor of the communists and of the communist methods. Uh, and that has to be said. Uh, without any, you know, any shame, because uh, you know, uh, uh, critics of, of, of communists, uh, they are trying always to to make communists feel shameful because of their uh, uh, authoritarian behaviors and so on and so on. But I, they took responsibility, they took risks, uh, 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 and they tried to put things. Uh, um, uh, uh, in the right direction. Of course, sometimes they made errors, but uh, when you take responsibility, you do errors. When you don't take responsibility, you don't do error. Um, and, uh, uh, and, and that's the situation, I would say, 
uh, concerning Spanish Republic and Spanish Republicans after the defeat of the Spanish Republic. So I don't know, maybe you have some questions. Yes, my first question is the basic question. We have three forces which are fighting uh, against Franco. Mm -hmm. And maybe firstly, could you explain uh, what uh, uh, what was the purpose of the fight for every of this force? Because uh, if I could understand this war, it was a war to defending the republic where the uh, united front of the uh, social democratic and communist uh, take power uh, and so it was united united front of the bourgeois republic and the, yes, of course. yes yes and it was the leftist force who defended this this bourgeois republic against against fascism one of the one of the uh, uh, attack against the communists in the time of this war it was that that there was a revolution there was a real uh, re uh, workers revolution in catalonia and the communists are traitors of the revolution because communists supported the bourgeois government in uh, so so Firstly, the, 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 the people came to Spain to defend the Republic, but after, because of the defend the Republic, they are, uh, they are attacked by the people from uh, ultra-left, I don't know, anarchists, who say, Anarchist. no, no, you, 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 are, you are traitors because you are against revolution. So, uh, so in, in my, when we think about this, we have the uh, very strange situation that we have this uh, uh, republic uh, where is the power of the united front and against this republic there is the force of franco and mm -hmm. anarchists in the same moment if yeah I, that's, that's the point because uh, uh the his uh, the moment we uh, of 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 civil war uh it was not a revolution it was fight for democracy and for, you know, Spain was a backward country. And Spain has first to realize what uh, capitalism realized. It means uh, uh, agrarian reform, uh, 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 basic democracy, uh, and let's say bourgeois reforms uh, uh, first. Uh, and later maybe the question of a, a, a peoples of or a proletarian revolution could emerge but the first uh, the first thing to realize then was the um, uh, in Spain there were there were two basic things to to realize uh, because Spain was a backward country it means the agrarian reform it means the end of landowners, uh, a situation who disappeared in France, in England, uh, and in a lot of Western European developed countries much earlier. And the second thing was the secularization of the state, because Spain was still a feudal uh, state with a Catholic church uh, functioning like like at the time of pre um, of French uh, pre before revolution. So um, that was the, the basic. Uh, 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 think that has to be realized. And if the People's Front win the election, first of all, they win the election with a, a tiny majority. The majority, but a tiny majority. It means that, a, I would say, a little half of the Spanish society, um, including uh, uh, lower classes, were not ready for a bourgeois republic, not to talk about a proletarian revolution. Uh, that's the first thing we have to 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 uh, to, to know. Um, and because of that, uh, 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 the force, uh, the people, uh, the people's front, including social democrats and and communists, has uh, had the, the historical mission to realize that. 
uh, not to realize the proletarian revolution. Of course, you are talking about Catalonia, and that's a, a, a fact that Catalonia, for um, uh, economical region, because it was an industrial region, relatively speaking, with the rest of Spain, because of, uh, let's say, national oppression, since Catalonia uh, was, of course, repressed for centuries by the uh, Cast Castilian, uh, let's say, uh, um, uh, centralist state, because of those these, re these reasons, Catalonia was much more advanced politically than the rest of Spain. But, uh, and that's the reason why, of course, in this reason, in this region, you could find more easily people ready for a, 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 a real socialist revolution. But um, if you look objectively at the situation, you understand that the whole Spain was not ready for that. Uh, and it, this uh, this uh, uh, ultra left uh, 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 point of view uh, was unrealistic, and because it was unrealistic, objectively it became to be anti. Uh, I would say counter-revolutionary in the sense. I mean, it was not a revolution in Spain, but. Um, uh, 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 anti-progress because in, in uh, objectively uh, they did they only ha helped Franco to win the war because uh, when every force has to be concentrated for the front against fascism uh, objectively I don't say I don't say subjectively but objectively all forces that you have to send back from the front to control the situation in the rear uh, uh, because there are ultra leftists in some region uh, don't understanding the whole situation uh, then you 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 in objectively you are you are helping the enemy um, uh, and you know that's the the problem we have with uh, um, with ultra left everywhere. I mean, Lenin wrote about uh, ultra left as a uh, as a, a childish uh, um, uh, disease of uh, uh, of communism, uh, and the Spanish situation shows that this childish uh, but very dangerous uh, uh, disease happened in Spain. Uh, as I told earlier, I don't deny the fact that the ultra left people are, for a, for for a lot of them at least, a very uh, um, convinced uh, people and uh, uh, you know linked with their ideals and uh, uh, in theory they are very good people, but uh, in practice the way they behave uh, doesn't help. Uh, revolution, but on the contrary, uh, not revolution in this case of Spain, doesn't help the, uh, let's say, the, the progress of Spain uh, toward a, a, a modern republic, a modern bourgeois republic, when later the question of socialism can be uh, can be uh, put on the agenda, but not at that time. It was much too earlier, uh, too too early. I mean, of course. Uh, 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 during the, the the civil war, I, I would say that part of of the Spanish people uh, uh, became more radicalized than at the beginning of the civil war. But still, uh, 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 it's difficult to 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 know exactly um, uh, how uh, how the division was. But uh, as I told you at the beginning of the civil war, uh, the uh, the proportion of people in favor of the republic, not in favor of revolution, in favor of the republic was slightly over 50% of the people who voted. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's, uh, 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 it's uh, a complete uh, uh, adventure to push revolution when uh, so proletarian people revolution, when you have a situation where uh, 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 a lot of Spaniards had only discovered the idea that a state should be more or less democratic and a state 
should be uh, uh, neutral on religious problems, um, which of course in Spain was a very important problem because when I I I'm speaking about religion, I'm not only speaking about you know religion as a, a belief. I'm speaking of religion as uh, as a very strong social economical force in Spain, uh, controlling uh, huge uh, uh, territories, a huge um, uh, education system. Uh, uh, church in Spain was a state within a state. And of course, it, it was the situation from, from centuries back. Uh, it, actually, we can say that the, the, the Spanish church was one of the most reactionary church in Europe since the time Muslims were expelled from Spain in the 15th century. Um, uh, so uh, the, the Spanish church was a very extremist institution, uh, religiously speaking, uh, ideologically speaking, and also a very strong economical uh, power. So uh, uh, um, the question of the secularization of Spain was a, a very important question uh, and a very uh, a question that divided Spaniards, Spanish society, including uh, uh, quite a lot of of, of people uh, uh, there. So the introduction of a bourgeois form of secularization was a huge progress uh, in Spain. Um, and it was one of the main things to realize at that time. It was not uh, the, 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 you know, the, the, the dictatorship of proletariat, which was uh, completely unrealistic at that time. Um, you know, uh, re a, 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 an efficient revolutionary is a revolutionary taking into account uh, the real situation and the real mentality of the people they are working in. Uh, you know, that's the same thing we had in Poland after 1945, we had in China in 1949. The question of building of socialism was not immediate at that time in a lot of backward countries. The question of socialism arrived later, but not at the very beginning. Um, and when I'm talking about uh, uh, Poland or China. I'm talking about country where Pol in Poland you had the Soviet army. In China you had the huge communist army. Uh, in Spain we had no communist army. We had the Spanish army, and then uh, 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 this army had uh, was enlarged la la to a large extent by mobilization of people, especially uh, due to the communist party. But uh, at the very beginning it was not. Uh, so easy uh, to 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 introduce. So I, I think that um, objectively, what happened in Catalonia uh, is biased because uh, 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 Catalonia is not all Spain, and Catalonia, uh, uh, even if we accept the idea that the situation in Catalonia was revolutionary, what can be discussed anyway? But taking, okay, situation in Catalonia was revolutionary. Uh, Catalonia is, one, is only one uh, part of Spain, at the, was only one part of Spain at that time, uh, with a strong industry and strong regional, uh, um, regional uh, uh, specificity. But Catalonia was not able to defend itself by itself. I mean, Catalonia had to, to belong to the huge movement for the Spanish Republic and, uh, uh, and uh, um, the adventurism, I would say, that burst in some part of Catalonia and especially in Barcelona was uh, counterproductive for uh, the progress of Spain. Uh, and I would say that the communists were the most rationally uh, um, an analyzing situation in Spain at that time, uh, even if, of course, we can criticize a lot of things. But basically, uh, if we, um, if we uh, 
uh, analyze along the line romanticism or reason, uh, rationality, uh, I would say the communists were the most rational movement in Spain at that time. Okay, one of the most, most famous uh, things re repeated by Trotskyists is that, uh, uh, that Stalin was an enemy of every revolution which he don't control, doesn't control. And because of that, Stalin wanted to uh, destroy the real revolution which taking place there. But and, if Stalin, yeah, and I would say if Stalin wanted to destroy uh, uh, what was happening in Spain, he had only to do one thing, the same thing France and England did, nothing. And the, re the republic would have been crushed very quickly. Because, of course, we have to remember that the Spanish Republic was held by Hitler and Mussolini. Um, so uh, it was very easy to, to, to have a, 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 a crushed revolution, a, a re republic in Spain. The Soviet Union could have reacted the way France did. And, uh, and there would be no problem for Stalin if Stalin uh, uh, was the one Trotskys are criticizing him. So, I mean, I, I, there is no, no point. I mean, um, uh, Soviet Union helps the Republican Spain not to destroy it, because it was very easy to destroy it, but to help it. Maybe now we can discuss if the way the help um, was carried on was uh, very efficient, if there was no errors that was made were made, and so on and so on. That's a discussion we can have, but um, basically, uh, uh, Soviet Union uh, was interested to have a, 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 a Spanish Republic as an ally uh, in in uh, in Europe, taking into account uh, that uh, Soviet Union had no ally anywhere in Europe at that time. So, I mean, uh, he, he, it, it's obvious uh, that Soviet Union had interest that the Republic of Spain win the war and not lose the war. Um, of course, uh, using the, the, the methods uh, that were successful during the Russian Revolution uh, and that will be successful after the, mm, the, uh, during the Second World War and after the Second World War. In, in, in this context, we can say that Spain was an, a, an exception because it was a defeat, but was also a training ground for communists where they uh, understood what can be done, what cannot be done, uh, and also how a revolution can be um, uh, weakened by ultra-left tendencies. Okay, another another accusation of the communists is that NKVD and Stalin they steal uh, Spanish gold. Uh, did you heard something about this? That, uh, uh, of course, Soviet Union was, you know, Soviet Union was 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 uh, was uh, uh, a country uh, in a very difficult economical situation. Uh, so it was very, it was very costly for Soviet Union to help Spain. So it is to a certain extent normal that uh, 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 Soviet Union uh, had to. Uh, 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 you know, balance its economy and uh, uh, engaging so much forces uh, in Spain uh, because you know it costed a lot for Soviet Union to to send uh, uh, um, uh, arms and so on uh, to to Spain. So I would say, uh, of course, it's a pity, but it's a pity because uh, that Soviet Union was still a poor country. Uh, of course, Spy Spain was a poor country, but how can you say that they stole gold when they sent arms uh, uh, to save the, 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 the Spanish Republic at that time? Uh, 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 the same one who says us 
that Stalin uh, 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 introduced hunger in Soviet Union, uh, that Stalin killed a mass of, of peasants because uh, he didn't want to, to feed them, the same one tell us that Stalin uh, uh, plundered Spain uh, to have an economy which, to a certain extent, uh, 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 helped the Soviet people to have a little bit more, more, um, more, uh, a, a little better uh, uh, situation. So, I mean, there is a contradiction in this. Uh, there is the question um, from chat. Uh, Cyril Jakubowski asks you, Historians from different countries said the start of Second World War at different dates. American <laughs> historians said it in 1941, Polish in 1939, Chinese in 1937. Could it be said that Second World War actually started in 1936 in Spain? I would say so, yes. Of course, uh, the beginning of the Second World War is a process. And uh, as every historical process, it's very difficult to have a date uh, which is the real beginning of this process. Um, of course, uh, formally, legally, uh, we can consider that the 1st September 1939, the Second World War began. Because Why? Because, um, uh, of course, Germany attacked Poland, but be because uh, 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 it's the first time when a big power, uh, 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 Germany, France and, uh, and England, were uh, uh, entered officially in a situation of war. But um, that's for the from the international, uh, let's say, legal point of view. Uh, but of course, uh, um, the Spanish War uh, was formally a civil war, but uh, it was not only a civil war because, as we saw earlier, you had Soviet Union on one side, you had fascist Italy and Germany on the other side. So it was already a war between powers, Germany, Italy, and Soviet Union. Um, and, and, and in this sense, of course, we can say that uh, the Spanish Civil War uh, began the Second World War uh, in Europe. Uh, of course, the, the Japanese aggression against China began the Second World War in Asia in 1937, that's also right, and, and that's very uh, important. Uh, but, um, but of course, uh, chronologically speaking, Spanish war was earlier. And I would say uh, that's a theory that fits to me. I mean, I, 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 I heard about that, and I think that basically we should uh, uh, tell that uh, the process of Second World War began in Spain, uh, even if the legal Second World War uh, 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 began a little bit uh, later. Uh, but of course, Spain is the um, the logic of the war uh, began in 1936. Of course, uh, bourgeois historians don't like that because um, they, 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 they liked the, the idea that the, first, the Second World War began in, Pol in Poland because they can already then jump to their uh, 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 theory. You know, uh, Poland was attacked by Germany and Soviet Union, uh, in, 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 in not taking into account the whole context. Uh, if we uh, um, uh, accept the idea that the world, the Second World War began in Spain, then we we see that you know it was a war between fascism uh, and progressive democracy, uh, including bourgeois left democracy, let's say, and and communists. But basically, uh, it was a, a war against fascism. Uh, and, and I agree with that. I think that the real Second World War began in 1936. Yeah, I, 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 I agree with that theory. Yeah, but there is one problem with this theory. 
why in 1944 or 45 the British and American didn't attack Franco and Spain? For the same reason they didn't help the Republic in 1936? I mean, uh, 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 you know, it was uh, when I say it bec with democ a war between democracy and fascism, uh, I'm I'm thinking about uh, uh, um, you know uh, progressive democracies. It means democracy was where, where uh, there is a strong people mobilize uh, uh, people's movement. Uh, it means. Um, it can be something between bourgeois democracy and, and, and proletarian revolution, but it means a, a democracy where the um, uh, um, people's parties, especially the communists, are strong, which is not, of course, the case of England, which is not the case of the United States. Uh, that, that, that this country are pure bourgeois democracies uh, without a strong uh, uh, class uh, working class movement, uh, uh, working class parties at that time. Um, so uh, uh, that's the reason why uh, England, United States, and of course France also didn't help uh, the Spanish Republic. Uh, and that's why uh, historian don't uh, bourgeois historian don't like to 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 take to tell that the Second World War began in Spain because uh, it's a shame for France, bourgeois France, uh, England, uh, uh, and United States. It's a, uh, uh, the Spanish Civil War is a shame for bourgeois democracies um, uh, uh, where, uh, uh, where the, 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 the people's movement is not sufficiently strong to push uh, to real active uh, fight against fascism. Yes, but I still don't understand why uh, uh, after the, for example, we have the uh, the case of the war Soviet Union and Japan, that yeah. uh, when the when the uh, it was finished, it was started in uh, August nineteen forty five. Yeah. Already, when the Japanese were very, very uh, weak, yeah. and uh, why uh, in the time when the he, Berlin was uh, taken, why they did didn't attack Spain to make the denazification of Spain? They, they, uh, the American uh, didn't realize the denazification in any country. If you look. Uh, uh, at the situation in France, if you look at the situation in Germany, if you look at the situation in Japan, if you look at the situation in South Korea, uh, if you look at the situation in Italy, if you look at the situation in Greece, you understand that the Americans all in every country occupied by them helped the former fascists or the former Nazi to stay uh, to 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 yeah to to stay at their um, position. Um, of course, officially uh, uh, they were not any more fascist or Nazi, but in fact uh, there was no real denazification. There was no real defascization, and that's the reason why Spain and Portugal. We have also to to take into account Portugal. Uh, were not uh, pushed to change regime. Basically, at the end of the Second World War, the enemy was not fascism and Nazism for the American. It was communism. Uh, and that's the reason why you had, um, they didn't uh, purify countries from former fascists, uh, collaborators, traitors, and Nazi all over Europe and Asia. Uh, and that's also the reason why uh, they bombed Dresden, Hiroshima, and Nagasaki. Uh, you know, Dresden was bombed because the Soviet army was uh, not far from uh, from Dresden. I mean, they were about 50 kilometers from Dresden when De Dresden was bombed. Um, and uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki were, uh, were were bombed when Soviet Union already began war with Japan. 
Uh, and now it's quite obvious that uh, this, let, let's speak frankly, that the terrorist bombing of Dresden, Hiroshima and Nagasaki were not, of course, they were aimed at Germans and Japanese in the fact that uh, those people were killed. But uh, um, uh, in fact, uh, it was a, a, a maneuver to show to Soviet Union that uh, 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 Anglo-American are strong and decided to use every uh, uh, means uh, in case uh, Soviet Union would, uh, uh, you know, would uh, be uh, would like to be a, a superpower uh, equal to them. Um, you know, you have testimony of people um, who were in England at that time and say that when the Dresden bombardment began, uh, uh, the day when the, the, the plane were going to Germany, the whole, the whole, the whole sky was filled with plane going to, to Dresden to bomb Dresden, what they never saw during the whole war. And it was in February 1945. At that time, Germany was completely defeated. And I, as I told you, um, the, the, the Soviet troops were 50 kilometers from Dresden. So uh, this shows that at the end of the Second World War for the United States, the enemy was already the communist and Soviet Union. So the fascists and the Nazi were for them potential allies. And they treated them as potential allies. Of course, they, 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 they had to, uh, to, um, to um, judge uh, a symbolic people like, you know, uh, Goering and so on. But if you take out uh, this very few people who were hanged at, after the end of Second World War in Japan or in, in, in Germany, basically the huge majority of the uh, higher, I don't talk only of the middle, but the higher apparatus of the Nazi party and the fascist party uh, 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 was uh, not purified and they were still uh, uh, working in good, uh, you know, in responsibility post in the government, in the administration. So in that situation, why would you like, why do you, would you have uh, the, uh, 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 an attack of the United States against uh, Spanish and Portuguese dictatorships? Since uh, in Germany, um, most Nazi were, were uh, preserved. Uh, 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 and in France also, um, uh, De Gaulle, uh, uh, of course, was the formal leader and the communist and De Gaulle had uh, part uh, in the power. But the, the, the American occupation uh, uh, apparatus tried to defend all the, all the people, you know, who were collaborating with Pétain and so on during the Second World War. So if you... If you accept those people in France, in Italy, in Greece, in Germany, uh, in Japan, in South Korea, why why would it be different in Spain or in or or in Portugal? Um, these two systems were very positive for American uh, all uh, all over the Cold War. I mean, uh, uh, to the very end, you know, the, the, the Franco regime was ne never never. Uh, um, uh, finished, I would say that it already it, it still exists because uh, when Spain was so-called democratized, the condition put for this democratization was that there will be no um, inquiries about the crimes committed by Franco and the Franco administration earlier, and that was the um, the the. Uh, situation up to now. Now in Spain they began to look for mass uh, gra graves uh, from dating back from the time of the civil war. So it means uh, 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 30 years after the death of Franco we can begin in Spain to talk about a mass grave in Spain. To talk about. Yeah. Without the help of the 50 state. Fifty years. 
Uh, 50 years, yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 50 years. So it's much yeah. worse. I mean, you know, okay. and the, 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 the People's Party, who is the party, the right-wing party of Spain, who is in power, uh, uh, is the direct uh, 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 successor of the fascist Frafalonga. How do you explain the great popularity of George Orwell, who was the member of the party which, which used the um, hammer and sickle, the name Marxist word was there, and in Poland and other and uh, imperialist countries, they all the time said that. Uh, uh, very often they make citation from from orwell he's one of the favorite writer i think uh, today yeah you're right you explain because, this? Uh, because he he's uh, uh, he's um, uh, understood i would say as the man uh, who described soviet let's say quote tyranny uh and who can be uh, much more easily believed because he is uh, supposedly leftist. Uh, but in fact, um, first of all, we know now that he was linked with the intelligence service. Uh, so he, he's not so uh, independent um, and so leftist as we thought. And even in Spain, uh, when he was during the civil war in Spain, uh, some of his comrades uh, began to doubt uh, about him that maybe he's linked with the English uh, uh, intelligence service. And that's why he left Spain before the end of the Civil War. That's, you know, an aspect of his biography, which is not very well known. Uh, so I would say he, his memory is manipulated by anti-communists but um, if you look really, uh, really profoundly to Orwell's life, uh, he is a very ambiguous man. Of course, he's, uh, and I, I don't deny uh, that he is a good writer. Uh, but uh, I'm not talking about literature now, I'm talking about political role. Politically speaking, um, you know. I, Sometimes it happens that, that people talking about uh, from a ultra left position are in fact uh, uh, very very uh, linked with uh, conservative uh, and mainstream institutions. You know, in the history of the Russian Revolution, you have Malinovsky, uh, who was a Bolshevik leader, and you know working for the Ochrana, for the Tsarist police, uh, state police. So, I mean, the whole history of the worker movement uh, shows that quite a lot of people uh, supposedly on left and is, is especially ultra-left position are in fact linked with the conservative apparatus. Uh, and in the case of, of Orwell, that's, uh, that's sure. Uh, that he was, you know, ambiguous in his uh, relation with the, um, with the, let's say, British state police. I will read uh, three comments from chat. First, Marine Programmer. My grandfather and his brothers participated on the Republican side. Greetings from Yugoslavia. Yota mm -hmm. uh, Z. I recently found out that in September 1938, the Polish government issued a decree under which citizens of Second RP residing outside its borders were re required to confirm their citizenships. And Cyril Jakubowski, 1984 is rather unconscious projection of Orwell's weird sexual fantasies than, <laughs> than conscious metaphor about Soviet Union uh, uh, and uh, the continuation about Second RP. Uh, in the absence of a confirmation, it was to be taken from then. It was mainly against Jews. However, Poles who supported Spanish revolution was 
also affected. Any comments? Yes, yes, that's right. Uh, uh, of course, it was mostly uh, um, uh, linked with Jews, uh, Polish Jews, uh, outside Poland. Uh, it means Jews uh, living especially in Germany uh, and repressed by the Nazi regime, uh, Jews that have emigrated to Palestine or to um, to um, United States, and that's for sure. Uh, and all uh, Polish emigrants who were more or less linked with uh, uh, opposition, with communist opposition mainly in Spain, as it is said here, uh, but also um, Polish communists uh, who lived in France, for example, uh, or uh, or uh, or even sometimes people from other opposition party in Poland. All these people, you know, had the, it was very hard for them as uh, uh, repressed people in Poland to go to the uh, Polish consulate and ask for a registration. So, um, and the administration of the, cons the Polish consulate made them very difficult, uh, the, this registration. So, of course, it was a, a way to eliminate uh, every people uh, uh, linked with Polish citizenship, but uh, not... Uh, linked with the Polish government or the Polish state policies, so especially Jews, communists, uh, and even opposition uh, militants from, you know, other other political parties. Of course, it was a political repression, yes. A political and ra rational repression, I would say, both. Okay, I think that... Uh... I uh, it's it's a little late in Europe. Yeah. So uh, but anyway, I think, I, I think that it it would be it it with uh, it will be Sunday. I will find another question, but yeah, maybe because, it, yeah, because yeah. it's yes, but um, I don't know how many times uh, all the time this question is come back. That uh, especially with, yeah, that with, you're the, right. with the young young anarchists, uh, all the time they speak. What about Spain? What about the the repression and the I don't know the conflict uh, between the, the the communists killed the anarchists in Spain. You you are betrayed the real re revolution and. Uh, what what have we to do to to <laughs> to, to explain these young uh, supporters of the anarchist ideas that uh, they are mistaken about this ah uh, that, that it's complicated because um um first of all uh, it needs quite a lot of information uh and quite a lot of you know um, mobilization to look for this information the second problem is that um when people don't have the experience of wars uh clandestine activity underground activity and so on and so on it's quite difficult to understand that the logic uh of the situation during war times uh and especially during civil wars uh, is not the um, the uh, logic uh, the logic of uh, uh, of uh, we have in peaceful times uh, and also there is a third third element uh, which I will remember is that um, you know quite a lot of people now uh, unfortunately are looking to history because they don't really believe in the future and um, you know to um, re uh, to live again to live again the the life of revolution that had to exist in the past uh, is for a lot of people a way uh, to avoid um, participating in actual revolution i will finish that with an anecdote i had a friend during the yellow vest movement 
um, here in France. So you you took part in it. You you understand. And she was um, uh, more or less Trotskyist, and uh, uh, observing the, the, the how things happened in France at that moment, she told me. Now I began to understand why the communist has to be so tough in Spain during the civil war. Because when you have a strong tension, you need discipline. And now I realize that the ultra left in Spain was objectively um, destroying the unity that you need to have in a situation of strong tension. And you know, she was looking at French situation, which is which was a light tension comparing with Spain during the Civil War. But it happened that, and she was from Trotsky's background, so uh, she began to understand what happened in Spain, uh, experiencing situation of current current situation in France. Of course, it's an anecdote. It's one people. Uh, in a, a, a specific situation, but still, there is something in it. I think. I mean, uh, 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 she began to understand things she couldn't understand m one month earlier, uh, because you know, class struggle is class struggle, uh, revolutionary struggle is revolutionary struggle, and anti-fascist struggle is anti-fascist struggle. And when you don't experience them, uh, you it's difficult for you to. To understand things, or it needs at least very strong uh, capacity to understand uh, the situation you you didn't experience. Okay, thank you, Bruno. Um...